Hey babes, so today I wanted to do a fall haul video because it is almost officially fall and I have been buying things for the past month in preparation for the colder weather. Hopefully it will give you some idea of the things you might want to add to your fall wardrobe. As always, I'm gonna try and include everything about the products like their codes, names, whatever I can find for you guys in the description down below. So please don't forget to open that if you are looking for something. So with that, let's get started. So the first couple things I'm gonna get started with are from Brandy Melville. I didn't really buy them for the fall season, so that's kind of why I wanted to start with them. So the first thing I'm going to start with is this striped off the shoulder top. I'm really into this like ruffle trend right now. There's another shirt that I bought that I'll show you that is very similar to this. I really love off the shoulder, which I'm sure you know if you've seen any of my other haul videos because I obsessively talk about how much I love this. But anyways, I just really liked this top. I thought it was really cute and I think it looks really good with a black choker because light versus that contrast of the black choker really makes it stand out. So I think it looks really cute. The second thing I bought is extremely not practical for the fall, but I think it is really adorable and I had to pick it up. And that is this tank, which at first you think, oh, it's just a normal tank, but it's actually a backless or really low back tank. So I really like this because I think it's really cute showing off a little bit of back. I think it looks really cute with a strappy bralette. So yeah, I was just really drawn to this because I thought it was really cute. So next up, getting into some actual fall items. I went thrifting. Every year I try to go thrifting for flannels, but I have actually never been successful. But this year I was, I think I started early enough. And if you go now, you might still be early enough to catch some good flannels. One of the flannels I picked up was this dark gray and light gray flannel. As you can see from this flannel, I really like grays and blacks and whites in my flannels. I rarely ever wear colored flannels. So when I saw this one, I was super excited. This brand is St. John's Bay. And I bought this flannel two years ago from Brandy Melville. And this brand is also St. John's Bay because they thrift flannels. I get them in a men's size medium because that's what gives you that oversized fit. I think I got it for $5, which was a really good deal compared Compared to this brandy one which I think was 50 and that was because like I said I've been thrifting every single year and I have never found a flannel that I liked so that's why I finally popped for this one but now I'm kind of regretting it considering that I picked up two flannels this year that I really like the next flannel I got is a colored one I've been looking for a blue flannel for a really really long time and that's this one. It's also that thick material from St. John's Bay and it's also in a size medium for that oversized fit look. And I really like this one because there aren't too many colors in it. There's not a ton of blues. It's mostly white, a dark blue, and then a light blue. So I really like that about this flannel. I just felt like it looked really good. And I mean, anything vintage oversized is kind of that trend in the fall. And I'm just super excited about this one because I'm finally adding a blue colored flannel to my life. So mom jeans are really in trend right now. I picked up two pairs of mom jeans. They're a little bit too big for me, but that's okay because I think that that oversized mom jean look is really trending right now. I'm actually going to try and lighten these up a little bit because I do want a more faded denim. So if that ends up going well, I will probably make a tutorial on how to bleach your denim because I'm probably gonna bleach some of my shorts too because I've been looking for the perfect light wash jeans while thrifting, but I didn't really find any. So I will just have to do it myself and see how it turns out. The last thing that I thrifted is just another pair of Levi's. So if you don't wanna go thrifting, there are always alternatives that you can buy. And I have a pair from Forever 21 here that I really like. These ones are distressed. These are the boyfriend fit jeans and I would suggest getting your correct size because these are already made to be baggy on that size. So I sized up which ended up being a mistake because they're already perfectly baggy for your perfect size. I also got a second pair from Forever 21 and that is this light wash pair. They come with a little knee slit and I really love this pair too except for that the knee slit is a little bit too long for me. I'm 5'2", and I think that this knee slit would better fit someone who's 5'4", or 5'5". So just keep that in mind if you are getting these. I might end up distressing them a little bit higher. But overall, I think that the skinny jean look with a little bit of distressing, especially light wash for the fall, is one of my favorites. Fall always brings out the suede material and the corduroy material, so I jumped on the corduroy train with a corduroy blush 
skirt. I really like this color for fall as well as, you know, year round because it's kind of this like neutral color and also it's really trending right now. I think that this goes really well with some tan booties that I got that I will show you in a second. I really like that mini skirt fit. It's kind of a 90s feel to it, especially with the corduroy material. And overall, I just think this will be a really great fall piece for when you want to look a little bit girly. Since I just talked about that skirt with some booties, I'm going to show you the booties that I bought next. I just got these low heel ones from Forever 21 as well, and they are super soft, and I just really love the color of them. I always have a pair of tan booties on hand and a pair of black booties on hand because I feel like with those two colors, they match everything, all the outfits that you could possibly want to wear. This ruffle tee, I mentioned earlier when I was talking about the Brandy off the shoulder shirt that I was really into this little ruffling detail, so I think this is super cute. It adds it's just a little feminine touch to your shirts. This one even has a little ruffling on the pocket, which I think is adorable. And so I just got this in the plain color white because I'm obsessed with white, but I think this will be a really great layering piece and I think it'll look really cute with some high-waisted jeans just to girly up an outfit that would usually just be really simple. The last clothing item that I have is this blush slash orangish sweater. If you've seen on my Instagram, the filters that I put it through kind of makes it look a little bit orange and I think that when you take a picture of it, it looks really orange, but in person it's a little bit more blush colored, kind of like that skirt that I showed you. Again, I really love this color for fall and on top of that, I really like the oversized fit. It'll hopefully keep me warm. I think this will look really cute paired underneath an anorak like the green one that I showed you in my fall essentials video. The last thing that I got is just this cream backpack. I have been obsessed with backpacks for quite a while now. I think that the cream color just looks good with all fall colors. Like if you see my nails right now, the maroon with this cream, I think it's really cute as well as the olive with cream. I'm really excited to use this because I think it'll hold a lot of my stuff and it'll look really cute with all of my outfits. So I hope this gave you some idea of the things you might want to add to your fall wardrobe. If you're looking for more ideas, I do have a fall essentials video that I made a, about a month ago. So if you want to check that out, I will put the link to that right here so that you can find it. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of me and thank you so much for watching.